this in this hand pattern you've got the middle part you've got the top part and you've got the bass i first heard the chora on an album by tumani diabate an album called kyra which he recorded in 1987. the unique thing about this album was that it took the chorus ability to play an accompaniment and an intricate melody at the same time to another level. And how, it, how Tumani is doing that is he's playing um, a bass line with his thumb. So if his bass line is Jarabi, other thumb he can play the accompaniment and with the fingers the melody or the singing or improvisation those three elements he builds this whole beautiful language of solo choral music which I was very drawn to and wanted to find a way to play on the guitar and so with the guitar it's a little different because with the chorus you have 21 free freely ringing strings and you're playing these patterns in the strings so with the guitar you have to Replicate that using the four fingers of this hand so that you can get those patterns going. So in this in this hand pattern, you've got the middle part, you've got the top part, and you've got the bass. And if you do a bit of muting, you can hear that bass coming as its own part. But all we're learning on the guitar is a particular pattern, which is... And we're putting that, and the ear is bringing out these melodies. So when we're playing the chord of music on guitar, we're coming from a slightly different approach. But in the end, you, you can pretty much play in this tuning uh, anything that the chord can play. Uh, sometimes they go a little bit high. Um, the problem with the guitar is you got to get you know if you if your melody is up here and your bass line's there you have a problem so i often have to bring the, the melody down an octave that's that's the only change you need to make but otherwise the two instruments come together very well